Hi everyone, it's Father Neil here and I'm delighted to be able to join you again for another People's to the People section of your school newsletter. Hopefully we're coming towards the end of this Covid pandemic and I'd be delighted when we do so that I'm able to reopen the doors of the church fully and just allow people to turn up and for us to squeeze people in. But unfortunately, until those restrictions are lifted, we're still having to keep social distancing and for people, particularly at the weekend, to have to book a place. Now, the numbers of people wishing to come on a Sunday is slowly increasing. So if you are hoping to come, please do try and book as early as you can by either using the Eventbrite site or by contacting the parish office. But it's important that we continue to pray that this pandemic comes to end and to pray for those who have suffered or who are mourning the loss of loved ones. And that's what Pope Francis has invited us as a church to do during this month of May. And the way he's asked us to do it is by seeking the intercession of our Blessed Mother and by using the Holy Rosary as that tool to do so. And so every day of the month of May, the rosary is being led by a different shrine around the world. And the one that kicked it off at the start of May was Our Lady of Walsingham. So England kicked off this marathon of rosaries during the month of May. And so you can access the different shrines that have already done it on YouTube and various other sites, or you can watch it live as it moves around the world with different languages and different people leading us in that beautiful prayer of the rosary. Now, I know praying the whole rosary, it sometimes can be a little bit daunting. It actually doesn't take as long as sometimes people think, especially maybe if you do it in the Irish way at a quick rate. But if you are a bit worried about doing the whole rosary, maybe even just to say a decade of the rosary and to pray it together as a family, as there's nothing more special than praying together. And I'd also ask that you pray for an increase in vocations to the priesthood and religious life. As in the past few weeks, Bishop Patrick has appointed me as the new vocations director for the Diocese of Nottingham. It sounds nice and fancy, I'm now a director, but it doesn't mean a director's wage or a director's car, but rather more work for the same money. So please do pray for me as I start this new role, and as I said, to pray for vocations to the priesthood. And be assured of my prayers for you as we come, hopefully, to the end of this pandemic. God bless everyone. Hi everyone, Father Neil again. Sorry, there's a little additional thing I need to add to the People's to the People segment this month. Because something big and significant has happened. Leicester City have won the FA Cup. So thank you for your prayers and for your support for the best team in the Midlands. Thanks everyone. God bless. <laughs>